Friends, hello Toastmasters and viewers at home. My name is Rahul Watts. I'm not feeling very happy. I'm very sad. I'm feeling very heavy deep down inside my heart. Very heavy. Karen, could you tell me a reason when somebody would feel heavy, heavy at their heart, not happy, sad? The first thing that comes to mind is like the Boston Marathon, for example. Boston Marathon. Mm -hmm. When you think of Boston Marathon, don't your heart fill with hatred for the people who committed that crime? No. That's good. Then, this talk is not for you. <laughs> but well, I'll still share. Because I do admit, being a human being, hatred is a feeling that comes naturally to me. I admit and applaud all the divine angels sitting over here. <laughs> because for me, hatred comes naturally and very easy. But I have to learn to get over it, to throw away this hatred from my heart. In this talk, we're going to do some experiment. Everybody just keep their hands to the side, like this, and keep it holding. Keep it holding. Keep it holding till you start feeling the pain. With that, I'd like to share a story with you. <laughs> I'm watching everybody, and everybody who's not doing this activity nicely, I'm going to hate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll spare you the terror. I'll spare you the horror. Keep your hands down. But admit and tell me, if you keep your hands like that forever, what's going to happen to you? Fatigue. Fatigue. Pain. You're going to feel the pain. You're going to get tired. You're going to get bogged down. You're going to fall ill if you keep on doing it forever. In my story, this was the experiment conducted by a school teacher onto a class, a grade fifth student. The students were asked to write down the name of first people that they hate. And students being innocent and human like me, not divine angels like you, ah! admitted and wrote down the name of people in the class that they hate. <laughs> some wrote two, some wrote three, some wrote five. Fine. Next day, teacher, teacher collected the list. And next day, when they came, gave them a bag filled with potatoes. The number of potatoes, which was equal to the number of students that they have written in their list. And asked the students to carry that bag everywhere that they go. Mm -hmm. Students did that. They did that ha happily, without any problem, for the first hour. In the next hour, they started complaining. Mm -hmm. It's painful. It's a lot of weight. Teacher said, we'll continue. They continued. By the end of the day, they were very, very frustrated. Mm -hmm. Teacher said, no, way. <coughs> no worries. <coughs> Leave it down. Let's see next day. Next day, teach students were again enthusiastic. They still did it. By lunchtime, by mid-interval in the school, they were very tired and upset. They came back to teacher and said, no, we don't want to do this. Teacher explained to them after they said that, this is exactly what happens when we carry our feelings around. This is exactly the same thing which happens when you carry that hatred for the people for whom you have written the name against on this paper. Mm -hmm. If you keep on carrying this feeling inside your heart, you'll feel the pain. Mm -hmm. You will suffer. Because hatred is a heavy feeling. 
and it's not good for your heart to feel that heaviness. Heart wants lightness. It wants easy feelings, not heavy feelings. And this is the message that I wanted to convey. But alas, I chose the wrong audience. <laughs> Everybody over here is such a divine angel. I bow down and salute you. But if ever you see a person who is as human as me, who admits that he hates people, let them know that it's no use carry that hatred in your heart. But just as Karen said, events like Boston Marathon would not happen if people learn to free themselves from the hatred. So promise that you will throw away the hatred, if at all, you ever have that in your heart. You'll forgive that person. You'll forgive <coughs> everyone for whom this feeling ever arise in your heart. At the end, remember, you can't hold this position forever. In the same way, you cannot hold hatred forever. If you do that, it's going to affect you. It's going to make you sad. It's going to make you suffer. To prevent the suffering, not only for you, but for this world, throw away the hatred. That's the message. With this, Mr. Toastmaster. Final drum roll, please. <laughs>